my beautiful souls welcome or welcome back if you're back to this channel my name is Ro I am so grateful for you to be here and for you choosing to click play and to receive these messages for the Lionsgate 88 portal or whenever you need to listen to this because this is a timeless reading and I believe that whenever we click on a message is what the message we're supposed to hear at that present moment so I thank you I'm so grateful for you and I allow you to take what resonates or I invite you to take what resonates and leave what doesn't because this is a collective reading and just really allowing yourself to let your intuition guide you as well. Um, this is something that I felt very called to do and honestly I'm still figuring out if I should do more of these on my channel or if I should take a different direction because I as a multidisciplinary creative artists and healer I just love to share so many things and I just have so many ideas all the time so if this is something that you want more of please let me know in the comments below or if you like other things like the sound baths or or the documentary um, moments in my life let me know what you like what you don't like what you want more of because it's something that I am still in experimental stage um, yeah I'm just still in experimental stage and that's okay it's totally okay to explore and to experiment to just figure out who you are and I have just been coming to terms and accept that, that I'm somebody who is exploring and that's totally okay so maybe you needed to hear that message now like too <laughs> but um, I would love to just start off with an intention and lighting this beautiful patchouli incense I got this in Cherokee North Carolina when I was over there with my dad I just love the smell. My intuition was like, yes, please get this. So I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> and so before we start, I would love to take three deep breaths together. And take a deep inhale. And exhale. Setting an intention for yourself today of why you are here and chose to pl click play. As we take another deep inhale together. And exhale as we allow ourselves to receive this message from a place of observance and awareness. Not setting any expectations. And as we take one last deep inhale together with our intention, I call upon the holy fire energies to join us in today's collective message for those who are here, for you, <laughs> who is here to listen at this very moment. And I thank you and I honor you. And my heart is so grateful for you. <laughs> so let's get this started. Ah, I'm so excited. I don't usually do this live, as in shuffling live, but this is something that I just felt called to do. This 8-8 Lionsgate portal is so powerful. I mean, it, I feel like it's always powerful. But there is a lot of change happening right now. There's a lot of disrupting energies that have been coming up that have been really challenging us and testing us and causing us to look within to see which directions we want to take. And so, oh, boundaries have been a very big lesson that has been going around lately energetically. It's where do you need to establish better boundaries? And this deck is the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. I just love the artwork and the messages that they share. So really asking yourself, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Because when we allow ourselves to set those boundaries um, and really being intentional of whether we set our boundaries out of love instead of fear, then we get to attract more beautiful experiences, people, opportunities that are coming from a place of love rather than a place of fear. And when we allow ourselves to set these boundaries for However, we want to move forward, that's when we're also breaking cycles and ending cycles and patterns and ancestral cycles that we no longer want to carry on with us for this new earth and this planet that we're all creating together because you have such an important part to play in this new earth and 
how we're really shaping our generations to come and our future. So with this, we're all really coming together. Like even though it's showing that, you know, there's, it looks like people are coming and um, trying to get your energy and you're here, you're just really standing in your power and recognizing that as somebody who does the work, the inner work, there are people who are going to gravitate towards you because they need that inner work too and they need that healing. However, it's up to you on whether or not you want to engage in that energy or not and really allowing yourself to recognize when people are coming, whether they're projecting or they're really coming with the intentions to, to better themselves better themselves and to really allow themselves to do that inner work with you and create with you. And when we're unconscious of when we're projecting or not, it'll hurt when somebody has those boundaries and says, mm, I, I don't want to, I don't want to engage in that energy. Not saying it like that, but when you stand in your power and say, mm, I choose not to engage in that energy, it will hurt that person. However, it's going to be something that will keep coming up for them. It'll keep hurting for them until they establish their boundaries. So remembering that when you establish your boundaries, you're also um, triggering an, a, a ripple effect for others to be hurt and to go through that suffering so that they can realize what boundaries they need to set as well. So really setting those boundaries, again, from a place of love and not from a place of fear because there is a lot of there's a lot of, of chaos going on right now. And so when we allow ourselves to s like sit still and be with it, when go within, allowing ourselves to also choose what brings us joy instead of what brings us down, what feels icky and dense, really asking ourselves if we want to do it or not. That's when you can tell if you're taking a boundary from love or if it's from fear. If you genuinely, wholeheartedly really want to do it and, and it feels light, that's what I really learned too. It's just if it feels light versus if it feels um, lower vibrating, like emotions of guilt or shame or, or, or it's something that you really just don't want to do. Notice that within your body whenever something comes up, an opportunity comes up for you to have a choice because everything is a choice. All right, what, what animal is representing a lion's gate here? Ooh, cobra. I believe this is fire. I don't have my... Oh, I... <laughs> no, I want to know. Hold on, stand by. I did this in my very first reading video, too. I was like, oh, the elements. Oh, yeah, it is fire. I was correct. See, just, just trust in my intuition. Um... Actually, I want to read the Cobra now that I pull up the book. Ooh, pausing and waiting. The inner teacher. The Cobra represents a teacher or spiritual guardian. The Cobra hovers and watches, ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the Cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who have led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So when you're in balance, student alive. <laughs> when out of balance, you're a nodal, egocentric, and to bring into balance, taking a class and study. But this is a great time to really focus on education and also be mindful of what you are learning and what are taking in into your energy fields at this time. Because especially with this new moon that just happened, just allowing yourself to learn what sparks joy in you. And sometimes when we learn, especially if you've grown up in a family where, you know, we, we had this program to go to college, get a job, and sometimes we don't want to go to college. That was me personally. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really want to go to college. I didn't know what I wanted to, jo to, to learn, and, and it didn't really bring me joy. But once I shifted into learning into something that brought me joy, which was film and marketing and hospitality, then that allowed me to really open up into doorways that even that brought even more joy. And so really taking the time to be open to receive and to learn what you really want to learn. So maybe it's something that you haven't um, done in a really long time, or maybe you're relearning something, 
um, maybe something in the child or in your childhood where learning was really, um, I don't want to say traumatic, but like learning for you was hard to do because it felt like you were being forced to learn it or you were being forced to do it and, and not really given a choice to learn it. But now, as you're listening to this, remembering that you do have a choice, you have a choice to learn how, whatever it is that you want to learn. So taking that moment and shifting that perspective and we're just going for it. Taking that class, taking that, um, you know, just, or if it's on YouTube University, if you feel like learning something new, I mean, there's so many people out there um, that are teaching, but also, you know, do your research and making sure that that person is credible and knowing that um, when we when we allow ourselves to learn and to grow, that's when we also allow ourselves to expand and, and learn more learn more tools for us to use moving forward. And when we learn and we use that knowledge, it's important to take action because you know when we have whatever it is that we learn, it's not really useful until you put it into action. So right now it's just really, laying low, learning, and then also finding that balance to take action and to practice along the way because theory only goes so far. I love how it's going over here. I mean, my um, my fan just started, so that's probably why it's like that. Oh, psychic abilities. Okay, what else? What else is on? I love these cards. Oh, wow. Very, <laughs> very intuitive colors right now. So... Psychic abilities, dreams, and relationships. Your intuition and your, your abilities and your gifts are really being heightened during this time. And it may come through dreams and, and maybe you're somebody who sees premonitions in their dreams or somebody who does a lot of work in the dream state. It's really being heightened. You know, purple and lavender is like the color of the third eye. So taking this moment to to be aware of what's coming up during these times in your dreams or what what intuitive hits you're getting during this time. And it's all relating to the relationships that you have in this, in this 3D realm. <laughs> also in terms of boundaries, really asking yourself like what relationships you surround yourself with now because the relationships that you're surrounding yourself now is, I, I mean, asking yourself are they serving you still or have they already served its purpose? And that's part of the boundary setting is do you want to continue in this relationship that's serving you or not serving you? And when we come together in these relationships that are serving us, we are allowing ourselves to grow together as um, compared to you know, relationships that's no longer service other person may still bring us down because as you're raising your vibration they they want to pull you down because there's that energy there that it's not aligned anymore to to rise together so asking yourself that and really allowing yourself to take notice and take stock of the people and the friends and even family that's in your life it's okay to not be with your family it's okay to um, let go of friends knowing that we all have a purpose to serve in each other's lives and, and relationships are the biggest teachers that we have in this life it's just allowing us to be open or it's whether or not you want to be open to receive that lesson that you received from that relationship or having that relationship in your life and when we do the inner work in ourselves and when we allow ourselves to heal past cycles and old cycles it will bring in new relationships or even cycle in old relationships who maybe they've done the work and now you're aligning again or realigning again and then it, working together and expanding together moving forward. I love relationships. <laughs> Sisterhood of the Rose. Ooh, beauty and devotion. Priestess, mystic, teacher. Look at that. So many beautiful people surrounding you, the light. Look at that light. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a sister. It's just, just that soul family. <laughs> Definitely bringing that feminine energy 
and and allowing yourself to move through that beauty and that devotion to yourself I feel like this is this is a really big time to devote your practice to yourself and remembering that when we are committed to ourselves and are devoted to ourselves we attract other people who are also devoted to themselves and and love themselves and when that happens then we allow our magic to happen and to also teach each other and also learn from each other because we all have things to teach we all have things to learn and it's the balance of student and teacher between relationships that really allow relationships to grow together and also remembering to come from a place of understanding instead of feeling like you know it all because if you like if you feel like you know it all then you feel like there's nothing else left for you to learn and that means that you're not a student <laughs> so allowing yourself to balance being a student being a teacher and knowing that when we allow ourselves to be humbled that you know we don't know everything and, and there's so much more out there to learn every single time every single day when we are open to learn then we meet some really beautiful people that just come into our life unexpectedly usually <laughs> who teach us um, teach us new things in ways that we may have never expected or, or learned before and when we allow ourselves to learn and be inspired to being inspired by others who have topics to teach and and ways to share it allows us to expand our mind and open our mind into perspectives that just allow us to to continue on rising and allowing ourselves to collectively expand because when we do the work in ourselves we're also allowing um, that expansion for happen to happen for all of us and when we allow ourselves to shine our light through community and remembering that when we come together and rise together that's when abundance happens for all of us because there's so much abundance there's infinite abundance and when we allow ourselves to come from that abundance perspective instead of scarcity which is triggered by jealousy or anger or those emotions that are really uncomfortable because we compare ourselves to others when we remember that collaboration brings abundance and compet competition sparks scarcity um, just asking yourself which would you rather choose would you rather collaborate and all rise together or would you rather compete and have that energy continue to cycle through to bring you down other people down just just ask yourself the ever unfolding rose ooh cracked open it's happening for you not to you this is something that continuously came up during the last Lionsgate portal of last year, which is so synchronistic that it's coming up again. When we crack open, it's because there's so much pressure. And right now there's so much pressure that's happening within us that's something that we might not want to face. And it is hard, it's uncomfortable. It feels like there's so much going on, it's overwhelming. However, during this time, just remembering that it's happening for you and not to you is a way for you to be more graceful for yourself and to also take control instead of blaming external circumstances. Because when we have control of our lives and have control of our, th our thoughts and our mindset, our perspectives, then that's when we allow ourselves to bring more inner peace and be graceful with ourselves instead of judging and um, needing to control because when we need to 
when we feel the need to control, that also means that we're not trusting. And you know, with the rose, when it unfolds, nobody's trying to control it and, and rip the petals open. It just blooms and blossoms when it, when it does. And when we think of the rose, you know, when it starts out, it's like a little, it's like a little bud. <laughs> and then it, it, it breaks open and cracks open and then it, it's blossomed into this beautiful rose. And that's what you're doing right now. You're blossoming as a beautiful rose. Learning a lot of lessons through the hard, difficult times. Because without suffering, there's no learning to how we can heal and to move from suffering to whatever it is that you want to move to. Maybe it's inner peace, maybe it's bliss, it's love. And the smoke is just coming towards me. (laughs) It's so interesting. This looks like a key. It really does look like a key. That's crazy. So remembering that the keys that you are looking for are already inside of you. And when, you know, these relationships come up and rub us a certain way or you notice yourself feeling uncomfortable around a certain person or somebody says something and you react, that's a moment where you can crack open and allow yourself to bloom and blossom and choose to shift into a perspective that allows you to step into your boundaries more, honor yourself, honor the relationships that you have with gratitude, remembering that everyone is a teacher, everyone is a student, if you choose that perspective. And knowing that when we allow ourselves to be connected to our intuition and also to our creativity, there's a lot of purples here, there's a lot of oranges here as well. Those two are actually linked. So when you allow yourself to be connected within yourself, the relationship within yourself and your intuition and trust your intuition and trust your process, trust the path and learn what you're learning or what you're experiencing on your path. And that's when you also get to teach from those experiences because you're learning and you're gaining that wisdom through all the experiences that you're moving through that are really hard and challenging. And that way you can also If you choose to share your ways and your art and your energy or or maybe you're a speaker, maybe you're um, a healer. I mean, I believe everyone here is a healer. If you're watching this, you're a healer. (laughs) But just remembering that there's a mess because you need to go through that mess to share your message. (laughs) I love that quote. I don't remember where I got it from. But that is essentially what's happening. When you crack open, you're going through that messy middle, it's uncomfortable, you don't know what to do, you're lost. And then when you allow yourself to go within, go into that place where you allow yourself to be a student, then when you unfold and crack open, you can also be that teacher for others who may also be going through similar situations like you. One more. I feel like going one more. Ooh, divine consciousness. Oh, and love. Okay, I guess you wanted to come out. (laughs) You just fell out. Everything is so divinely orchestrated. If you resonate with that, I truly believe that everything is divinely orchestrated with the power of choice. When we love ourselves and really come from that place, place of love, it all allows ourselves or it all unfolds it all makes sense after the hardship when you look back and see that the mess that you're going through and the the pressure you're going through is 
what you are here to experience. And when it comes to seeing that perspective and recognizing that we all have a part to play in the healing in this world, then you are powerful. I love how this looks like a key. <laughs> so that is all that I feel called to share today. You are a beautiful divine being of love. I'm grateful to have this relationship with you. I'm really grateful that, again, you chose to click play and to be here and to listen to this message. Again, let me know if you want more readings and messages or if you want more sound baths or meditations. I'm in experimental exploration mode. And I just know that this is all part of my path. So I am grateful that you are a part of my path. And I want to thank the Holy Fire Energy for coming through. I am sweating so much right now. <laughs> when the energy comes through me, I'm like sweating like hotcakes. I don't even know if that's a analogy, but I'm pretty hot. I'm sweating. And so I appreciate you being here, sharing your energy with me, sharing your time with me. And make sure to subscribe if you resonate with me and my energy and allowing me to, um, allowing me to experiment with you means so much. <laughs> it's, it's such a honor to be on this journey with you and I love you so much until next time. Bye loves. <laughs>